All right, look, this video is going to go up on YouTube and TikTok. What's going on? What's going on? Just checking in, just checking in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody's doing good today. Let's see what ladies are up to this afternoon on TikTok. Hope everybody's having a great day. You know what I'm saying? Loving life. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. What's going on? What's going on? Ladies, what's going on out there? What y'all doing? How y'all living? What are y'all wearing? <laughs> Why not? Look, I ain't got nothing to talk about, y'all. I got a 2 o'clock uh, YouTube video that I'm going to make, but I'm just on here to see what y'all up to. What y'all up to? What y'all doing? How y'all living? <laughs> How's work? You know what I mean? Anybody off work yet? How's life? few minutes and then I'm gonna get off of here like I said I got two o'clock you know we're gonna be talking about the normal stuff you know the chosen ones do what the chosen ones do and the haters do what the haters do right I'm gonna save that for that two o'clock you know right now I'm just trying to check in and see what everybody's doing on TikTok you know check in if you like to you know say hi if you're in here you know, I normally don't open it up like this. So if you want to say hi, go ahead and say hi, you know. I'm I'm being very uh, open-minded here. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to be as uh, standoffish. I think I've already proven my point. What's going on, love? What's going on? Ah, there we go. Not somebody talking. Yeah. How you doing? How you living? Just about to go live on YouTube. I'm going to work out in a minute. Make sure I'm nice and pumped. For my YouTube video, about to go live on here first on TikTok. See what y'all doing? What are we going on here? Chilling at home? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, what's going on, love? How you doing? How you living? Tap Patrice. Yeah, we got going on here. Hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on, ladies? Any gentlemen in here? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the gentlemen, but we're ladies right now. I'm trying to see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Ladies, look. Go live on uh, YouTube. It's gonna be a nice, calm video, right? Same mood I'm in right now. Wanna come on over? Jump in the live. We greatly appreciate it. Chilling at home. If you're chilling at home, come on over to that YouTube live. We'll chop it up. Are you enjoying your day off? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Salute and pound of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just shooting, uh, you know what, with y'all right now. But I got the bullets and the title and all that stuff for YouTube. But, you know, TikTok, I get on here and I just, you know, chop it up with y'all. Just talk, you know. No script. No notes. No notes. Ever seen Seinfeld? No notes. You know what I'm saying? No notes. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Appreciate the roses. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm not always on here tyranting. Come on, y'all. I get on here sometimes and just let the breeze blow. Absolutely beautiful out here. I'm going to get on this bike in a little while. That's what I'm talking about. Just on here, just chatting it up, you know. I'm not sitting in a chair or nothing, telling everybody to hit the like button and send me stuff. Ah, you ain't got to do all that. If you want to, you can. But, you know, sitting here chilling. Like a villain, enjoying life in this nice day. I mean, there's a nice breeze going on. It's not too hot, but then that breeze hits you. And you're just like, ah. Oh. It's a beautiful day. I'm in North Carolina in the mountains. Asheville. I get used to this elevation the first few months I was here. But once I got used to it, man, I'm in the you know, best shape I've ever been. <laughs> you know what I mean? hope y'all are on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Look, I have a, a YouTube um, um, podcast, like traditional sense podcast where, you know, we're sitting on the couch with the mics and all that. 
talking about life, have some guests on there, some ladies, right? My brother Moon will be on there. He's an Aries. He's uh, normally my counsel. So you get to see like how I act you know, around people I'm comfortable with. It's a different side, but it's going to be fun. And we're going to be talking about not BS stuff, not like what these goofy channels be talking about, dating nonsense, but like real matters, you know, that can actually get some women somewhere with some real insight, with some fresh information. I got to put out some fresh stuff for these alpha channels and modern women channels to uh, take and eat off of because this other stuff that they're running, it's old, it's stale. You know what I'm saying? The guy that was pushing it's not around and they're pushing his old stuff. They need somebody new that can give them some new talking points. So I'm going to get on here and give them some. But the talking points I'll be giving will be able to help people get into relationships because, you know, a lot of people, they really just don't know what a relationship is. They get into it because they think you look good with them and it's not the social media. But, you know, you got to work on that thing. You got to talk. You got to work on that thing, man. You just can't assume. And that was the biggest problem with the last couple of relationships I had. person didn't want to talk about nothing. They just go to somebody else and tell the problems to. And that person would tell them what they wanted to hear. They didn't want to hear, like, any, like, critiques or, sorry, just flew over my head, confirmation. They didn't want to hear any critiques or anything like that, right? And I had a hawk circling over my head the other day, man. You know what I mean? It's wild out here. You know, so when I see somebody that wants to date, but they're not open to, like, I don't know, like, communication. They just shut down. Like, ah, nah, I ain't gonna deal with you. You know, it's a telltale sign. You know, they shut down. They can't communicate. Or communicate with somebody. It's ain't your black ass. You know what I mean? Like going on here. Yeah, yeah. You know, but again, we're on this whole different wave right now. Um, a lot of us has ascended, and a lot of people out here are not. So it's really low vibrational people against high vibrational people, and those low vibes will find any and every way to drag you back down. You know, they'll gaslight what you're doing. You know, they'll try to make you seem like you're weird for just being by yourself. You know, making it seem like you got to be with somebody else. You can't just be in a relationship with God and be fine. And then don't, don't let yourself look good, too. If your inner glow starts growing outside, man, you can't do nothing that normal people do. You can't take, you can't be healing. You can't, you know what I'm saying, go through stuff. They expect for you to look good and be dumb and all the time. Just sit there and look good and be dumb. I think it's not... I think it's not, you know, I'm good looking, but that's not, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, ain't even a, a fourth or a third or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's, there's depth here. You know, there's depth here. God just likes to show out. You know what I mean? God just likes to show out when he does his work. That's all. I'm just saying there's depth. There's a mind here, a deep mind. And I'm trying to be a leader and I want to have a group of people that I know are ascended that want to date. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm really trying to get with this. I'm not going to give too many ideas because I got everybody trying to eat off my plate. But even if they do, they're not going to be able to do it like me. You're not going to be on that couch like me. That's when I'm going to start dropping the outfits. Oh, outfits, man. The outfits are going to be worth it alone. Ladies, the outfits will be worth it alone. And we'll be talking about these complications, you know, I can't say too much, you know, when it comes to dating. You know, the NARC check sheets. Why are we speed dating? Why do you need a list of things to date? You have intuition, instinct, and discernment. Why do you need to go to somebody to give you a check sheet on what to accept, what not to accept? Why are we doing these kind of things? We don't need them. Let's get rid of all these dating coach. I'm not going to say that. They can make their money. What I'm saying is, when you rock with me, we don't need advice from somebody on how to live, how to get a mate. You know what I mean? They're not paying none of your bills. Who cares? You could be online running their mouth, and you have no idea the problems they have in their personal life. These people can't even maintain relationships with people. But will be online telling you how to maintain a relationship with people. It's ridiculous.
It's absurd. It's going on two o'clock. But I need this bread and butter. These videos go up on YouTube, guys. So if you want to watch the replays, go to YouTube. All my replays on YouTube. No more dating check sheets. You need to stop calling these people dating coaches. The trauma coaches. They're projecting their trauma onto you and teaching you how to project your trauma onto others with these stupid little guidelines of this little... If he has, if, if, if he went through this and he says this phrase, he has mother issues. If he has this, he has PTSD. Who don't have issues? Who don't have problems? Who are you to judge? How about you just go on some dates, take your time, get to know him. If he's a bum, get rid of him. No more speed dating. Confirmation. Boy, looking good, ladies. Man, you crazy? You think I'm looking like this to jump into a relationship? Are you insane? I've been gaslit all kind of ways. I got women that are totally interested in me trying to say that I'm possibly part of the LGBTQ. Well, that don't make no sense. But I'm not going to argue with you. Do whatever you want to do and say whatever you want to say. You can't get this and you know it. You don't qualify. So say whatever you need to say to make yourself feel better and then look yourself in the mirror at night. But it makes me know, never mind. I'm still going to be fine. And a lady meant for me will find her way to me when the time is right. I am not concerned with y'all. You know what I mean? You're the one looking at me, coming up with different reasons as to why I'm not dating. Think about that. I'm not looking at you. You're looking at me. Okay? So, whatever in your reality makes you feel best to accept the reality that you probably don't qualify, I'm fine with it. Well, you eliminating yourself, isn't that it's like, uh Rejection is the best protection or something like that. Man, you're helping me out. You're getting rid of yourself. You're obviously a head case. Confirmation. You're obviously a dingbat. Confirmation. <laughs> Please win. You see that? You don't qualify. I wouldn't pay you no never mind. And sometimes attractive people that are out there watching this, unattractive people will use different methods to gaslight you to take away from the, the power and make you feel like their opinion means something. They got an inner voice to others. I can tell you what they think. Well, how about I don't care what they think? How about I don't care what they think? Exactly. Listen, and you're on top of your game and God is working through you. Best believe you're attractive in some kind of way. And you will have somebody try to control you by gaslighting you and being like, well, some people are interpreting you as conceited. Yeah. Yeah, some people are interpreting you like, you know, you're kind of crazy. You know? Those people that are doing that is you, dingbat. And I don't care what you or anybody else thinks. I don't need you to tell me what the clowns are saying. I don't go to the circus. And I don't like clowns. Okay? Who cares what they say? I hear if I go or at least see one video from some dingbat who's watching me too hard, who's trying to drop some in the window in their video, and I can look at them and tell why they're doing it. I don't need to watch the. I can look at you and see why you're projecting that onto me. I can look at you and tell why you're trying to give me or give people a why somebody like me would be a problem. Because look at you, you don't qualify. So any way to justify not being able to qualify because honestly, when you hear somebody talking about another group of people or in the window kind of shaming people, look at that person. What do they look like? Do they look like any, and, and listen, it's, it's 2023. I don't, we're not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you can't call no one ugly and da da da. Why are ugly people calling people ugly? So ugly people can run around and run their mouth about others, but I can't say nothing because I'm not ugly. The devil's a lie. I'll call your ugly ass out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Your ugly ass, troll ass looking, I'll call you out real quick. Don't be online, you know what I'm saying, looking like a whole troll or a butterball and you're talking about people need a, you need a, you, 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 lady. Mm-mm. No, no. Mm-mm. We're going to stop because it's done gotten out of control. Everybody wants to give advice just because it sounds good, but you need to look the part. 
Do you see me working my butt off every day? I'm looking the part. I'm looking the part inside and out. So when I talk my stuff, what you going to say about it? What am I not doing? How am I not living it? And I don't even run my mouth and volunteer, you know what I'm saying, any information about others until they come this way. But once I start riding the internet wave and I see videos, Sigma male, lone wolf, well, hell, I call myself a Sigma male. I want a few lone wolves out there. So when you holler lone wolf, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? And then when I get there and your video is full of end of windows, well, you know what? I'm going to look at the person making the video. If you like a cornball, you feel like somebody that's never had any social group until you got internet access and got on social media, I'm going to rip you apart. And I know my words are going to hit harder to you than me because you're watching me trying to look for a reason and a way to critique me when if we were to critique you on the same level of scrutiny you would fall apart nobody though wants to do a live though nobody wants to come at me and say my name but i will see a lot of in the windows you say the lone wolf you mentioned sigma male you miss you mentioned somebody that's uh in isolation you mentioned someone that went through you're basically describing me and then when you say some shady stuff at the end like damaged goods or whatever Lady, I will rip you apart. I have a particular dating coach that just seemed to think that she's just so slick and smart, right? And you're really, really not. And the minute you mention my name, I'm going to destroy you and probably catapult myself to wherever I want to be off of your goofy back. I would advise for you to not be in the manosphere running your mouth as if you are a married woman and been in a successful marriage for a number of years. If you are a divorcee like the rest of us, shut up, sit down. Shut up and sit down. Don't come in your videos pointing and yelling. Who are you yelling at? Who are you pointing at? Hmm? What are you telling men how to be a man for? Lady, learn how to be a woman and get a man. And keep them. Don't make me start getting with my gloves off in here, y'all. I don't want to do it to these people. But these clowns think that the circus... And everybody wants to go to it, and some of us don't. Some of us are adults handling adult business. When you start mentioning sigmas and damaged goods and getting offended because someone's talking about not needing a college degree and running your mouth, and lady, I don't know if you're white or Spanish, sit down, relax. Daddy's home. I'm not trying to be the next Kevin Samuels. You got the lane. Unless you want me to take it, now I'll take that lane too. I'll take the dating coach lane. I'll take the spirituality lane. I'll take the fitness lane. I'll take the modeling lane. And I'll also take the, uh, what was it, um, fashion design lane. Because I can design some clothes, y'all. I can put some stuff together. I'm not to be put in a box. I can do whatever I want. So don't come over here running your mouth like you know what a Sigma male is. If you had a Sigma male... Your ass would, if you ever had a Sigma male, you would not be online running your mouth about how to date. You'd be looking for another one. We ain't never had a Sigma male. Y'all ain't never seen nothing like me before. Okay? There's a lot more like me coming out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They just got to see me do it first. Like, okay, he went out there. He showed everybody he can heal. He showed everybody he's still strong, even though he's showing his vulnerabilities. Hey, the strongest kind of man is the one that'll show you the weaknesses. I want you to think I'm weak. I love to fight. I want you to think I'm weak. But ain't no dude coming at me because they can tell that I'm acting like I'm weak. And they know I will wear their ass out. Dudes don't do stuff like this. Only women. Only women, most not females, not women. Females will assume that I'm weak and soft because of the way I speak. However, I've not gotten in any fights with any males no matter what I say because they know better. They don't worry about what I'm saying. They size me up properly. Like, okay, reputation, all his history, military guy. Okay, looking where he looks. Nah, we ain't about that right now. Because when dudes get into it, it's furniture moving. Women can get on here and run their mouth and da 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 You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big deal. It's whatever. It's whatever. But I'm not going to get on here and run my mouth to no dude or whatever or any dude in this area unless I'm ready to move some furniture. Right? I got to be willing. I can't. We ain't going to just run our mouths to each other and walk away. Nah, it could get rough. Someone has to go home or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So, somebody's gotten blocked. Ooh, somebody's getting muted and blocked. 
You know what I mean? I appreciate you. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. I appreciate you. I hope you ain't blocking anybody. Everybody's good. It seems like everybody's good in here. I don't know who's in it. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't do that kind of stuff. And we're not going to have that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I'm just really just looking for, you know, a regular woman that, you know, can understand what a man is and not need these, um, these boy player tactics to feel like that person's a man. Oh, he talks to me like crap. He's a man. Uh, he gets his eyebrows lined up. That's a man. Oh, he has a fresh haircut but lives with his mother and drives his mother's car that's a man it's not it's not you know what i mean 